football here at uh, the Athlone Stadium. Quick turnaround for both of these sides. It was a win for Supersport in their last game against TS Galaxy. But let's concentrate on the first team sheet and that of Cape Town City. Two changes made by coach uh, Eric Tinkler. A correction on that. Three coaches. Uh, Gordinho coming in defence, so it means that Petrus moves in the midfield. Yeah, once again, I think they'll depend a lot on Darren Keat uh, with his experience. It was it wasn't at its best that on the, on on Wednesday, but I think with the Godinho coming in front. And Globo, out wide, Magidi Gidi into the middle, keep with a little touch. And a slightly bit of defensive work from Nyama denying SuperSport uh, chance. Pule was lurking at. Just parries the ball into the danger area. Nyama, very alert, sliding that ball, conceding the first corner for tonight. Pule with that left foot. Yes, Pule again, looking to get the shot in. Out wide, the cross is going to be a little too strong. Probably the one thing that uh, Amato changed there was Gonzalez. Now inside to Amato. Rides the one challenge, finds Domingo. Rhodes out wide. Look at him, Kize steaming down the right. Rhodes. Oh, there's a time to go from that range. Did this spot in Kize's run? There's Amato now. Chased down by Morby, waiting for him Kize to come on the chase. Now he's looked to set Rhodes away. Chiquezu waits in the middle. He has the ball in. Great chance there for City. First real big chance of the night. And the little this Namibia. Is what uh, Coach uh, Tinkler was talking about. Amato is very calm, you know, on the ball. Doesn't get flustered. He keeps the ball right past. And then Mkizi just slips uh, Jaden Rhodes in here. He gets the ball hard and low, just slightly ahead of the ball uh, to Eza. Couldn't wrap his foot around it in order to find the target. Uh, league matches. They got uh, a draw away in their first game at Royal AM. Now here's Pule. Global coming up in support. Nicely cut out by Cupido. Here's Amato. Nicely done by Petrus. Finds Domingo. Now is he going to have a shot? Instead he's a wide to Rhodes. Rhodes steadies. Rhodes gets the shot in. Ross purposely just takes his arm away as the ball dimensions and where he is on the field. Purposely let it go. Petrus has done well, and then the little slip there from Pokeball allows space for uh, Domingo. Lovely ball inside to Chiquezo. That's superbly done. Fairly simple as well, Sean Bartlett. Well, that's what you need. That's the type of run that Chiquezo does really well in between two defenders, and that pass from Domingo was superb. And that's the type of football that we know Cape Town City can play. You know, with the type of players they have, very skillful, fast, tricky, Domingo did really well. But like you mentioned, Petru is obviously picking that pass to find uh, Domingo. And uh, Gavin Hunt will be asking questions from Plachwai and uh, Sanoka out there. That little slip from Pokhampur was uh, perhaps a bit of misfortune, but yeah, that's a lovely ball. And he took it well too. Yeah. So Norka had no cover there. Rappu, Rappu not the co giving the cover that's supposed to because he's tucked inside. Trying to go for the sliding tackle and absolutely missed the ball. But like you mentioned, the slip from Pokhampur was big in that build-up. Now they've got a, maybe a man advantage here in terms of defense. It's just the little striker up front though. Goss does the sweeping, but he could be in a bit of trouble here. Tommy and Kize. I wonder if Sonoka is going to go to the book for that. Yes, he is. Well, I think the most other one. Taking one for the team here, certainly. There was good pressure from Tami and Kiza. Well, he made that uh, mistake himself and then the hand into the face. Yeah, but here comes in global. But Sonoka, left footed cross. Keith scurries across, gets a touch to it. And Gonzalez will clear. Amato can push forward. This is definitely cutting up and makes it a little bit more muddy. There you see Ricardo Goss also. Yeah, he's it's quite nice dangerous. Divid there. Chueza was thinking about the shot. Wins the free kick. Uh, this could be a yellow card for Tulani. Or maybe the 18 year old Amato to have a go. On debut, strikes it, and puts it over the top. Oh, it's probably the amount of traffic happening on his right hand side. Francis has got some pace into the penalty area. Up against Sanoka. Sliding challenge there from Shatswayo. The ball just pops up. 
So that's a good Congo Friday, the 11th. Yeah, is a chance for Kize, just laying it here. Rhodes with a turn. Doesn't take it with the left foot. Amato back, and Kize back post. Was there handball in there? It's a let off. Now in global. Heda from Pule, well off target. Well, just slightly disturbed there by Petrus, who did really well just to put him off, but uh, what an opportunity. For being the more enterprising of the two here in the second half. It's Rhodes across. This might be a chance for Gonzalez. Moby the defender, back in the middle. Petrus. He must have been thinking about that left foot of his for a second or two. Yama wants it back. There's Amato. Little chip in search of Gonzalez. Is he onside here? Yes, looks at the linesman. The flag stays down. Chueso into the middle. Good defending from uh, Tlachwayo. He wasn't very convinced. No, him. that hesitation perhaps cost him. I think he was definitely thinking he was offside, and assistant referee uh, Satole at this Super Sport throwing everything at uh, Cape Town City at this moment. Hoping to get that equalizer rather sooner than later. Heat. Atlango gets there first. Comes off Gonzalez. They catch them on the counter with a pace of Francis. Clachwayo backs off him. There's the cross in, and this time it's not Clachwayo who loops it in the air for the keeper, but Goss. During uh, Zimbabwean league action before they uh, arrived in South Africa, all made a big contribution. Keats with the save. Yeah, I think it's always a, the risk that the coaches are taking. Uh... Lekay with a shot, tipped over the top by Keats. They're desperate defending here, no foul. Play on, it was a combination of Cupido and Yama. Makaringe, good running from Francis. Goss is out of position. Oh, he didn't spot uh, Chuezu in the right place, but Goss would have been uh, in all sorts of trouble there. Very easy to collect a ball like that. Now, is there one more here for City? Lovely ball for Sukuna, he's missed it. Excellent opportunity to seal it up here for Cape Town City. That come back to Holton. There's the long ball for the little flick on Chuezu with the back heel. And for all money, that was a good chance. Maybe the wrong foot. Have to go with the right foot. He's got to go with the outside and keep it low. 